Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to talk about some of the emerging evidence uh, about the speculation about the size of the battery for the Texas-built 4680 Model Y. Alright, guys, coming in number one on the list is going to be the weight differences between the long-range Model Y coming from Fremont and the Model Y coming out of Austin. So now guys, I've actually done a separate video about the weight. And guys, in that video I did take it on a CAT scale, certified CAT scale. Uh, and I can confirm after doing the weight of the vehicle uh, that the actual weight of the vehicle is going to be 4,356 pounds coming out of Texas with the 4680 batteries uh, versus the weight coming out of Fremont at 4,363. So, so guys, we're talking about a seven pound difference. Now, if we were really expecting this battery to be significantly smaller uh, than the Model Y coming out of California, you would think it's gonna be a lot more than seven pounds. Um, the other thing that's really strange is when we talk about weight, we have to factor in the fact that the new process with the, the larger Giga presses that's being used in, in Texas, it's supposed to be yielding, you know, significant weight savings. That's one thing that they've been talking about this whole entire time is the weight savings and the efficiencies. So if we only have a seven pound difference and you're saving weight already on the structure, it has to be in the battery, right? Uh, so that is a, I mean, that's a, that's a really significant thing. Uh, now also again with weight, uh, since the Model Y coming out of California has been, you know, taken apart, it's, it, it's confirmed that that Model Y has an 82 kilowatt uh, battery. So, again, we have it confirmed that that Model Y has an 82 kilowatt battery, uh, and that's giving you the weight of, again, 4,363 pounds. Uh, but this Model Y, right now, you're only getting 279 miles. Uh, and it's only seven pounds lighter. So it's not it's not really adding up there uh, You would think that the car the battery itself would you know at least be 10% lighter at a minimum in order to uh, to give you that reduced range. So again kind of kind of Makes you wonder and it kind of opens up the door for speculation about hey, are there more battery cells? That are you know just software locked that are you know currently inside the vehicle uh, and one day Tesla will open that up. Um, so one thing I do want to mention is Cleaner Watts YouTube channel and I'll link a video. He does a really great detailed analysis about just the differences in weight and some of the differences between the models. Uh, so again, I'll link that below, but again, Cleaner Watt does a great job and you guys can see it from another, you know, highly, you know, recommended and highly uh, sought after YouTube channel that they're also seeing those differences. Coming at number two on the list is going to be uh, just the confirmations that I have after uh, supercharging the vehicle twice and I can confirm after doing a battery test or drawing it down to one percent uh, what the actual usable battery is. And again, I'll, I'll say it very carefully, usable. So on June 8th, the day I got the vehicle, we did a range test, uh, took it all the way down to Abbott, Texas, uh, went to the supercharger down there, uh, got the vehicle down to 9%, and then charged it back up to 97%. Uh, with that, you guys will see that we actually used a total of 61 kilowatts doing that uh, charge from 9% to 97%. Uh, on 615, uh, we did another range test. Uh, we went to Grapevine, Texas, drove around a bunch, uh, and I have another video for that one. We got it down to 4% and charged up to 90%. Uh, with that test, and you guys will see, we got a supercharging of 60 kilowatts, so we put back in the battery. So again, on the first time we put 61 kilowatts in, and the second time we put 60 kilowatts in. Uh, so if you do the math of, again, because I didn't go from zero to 100, uh, there's basically a minimum another six kilowatts in there. So you can kind of speculate 
anywhere from 66 kilowatts that's going to be usable um, and then also I'll mention on 618 yesterday uh, I did a range test uh, where I drove the vehicle from 94% down to 1% and I used a total of 60 kilowatts so again all right guys, coming at number three on the list is gonna be uh, Tesla's history of offering software unlocks. So already today, and again, this is only day 10 of having the vehicle, I was offered the ability to do a software unlock on this 4680 Model Y to be able to uh, basically improve the zero to 60 from five seconds down to 4.2 seconds. So again, that's the, the first a bit of confirmed evidence that Tesla plans on offering software unlocks on the 4680 Model Y because they've already done it after just having it 10 days. Uh, so that is, uh, again, very interesting. And then again, I'll reference, I've done this in a couple of videos, uh, back in 2016, whenever we had the uh, 75 kilowatt Model S's being sold at 60 model s's and then tesla later on offering the ability to upgrade so again they have a history of offering software updates on on vehicles and within the first 10 days they've already done that uh, on the topic specifically of zero to 60. my guys uh, coming in at number four is going to be uh the current badging and i guess as you can see uh the current badging just says dual motor uh so doesn't say anything about standard range it's just a dual motor and also what we're going to reference i'll throw in some screenshots of other uh teslas so you can see some standard range model threes and how they're badged you can see the badging of the standard range model y that was only sold for like four months versus this one right so uh it, it leads the door open right like the, the, this is badged exactly the way the uh, the regular long range ones are. So it's very interesting. Uh, they could have done it differently, but they decided to badge it exactly the same. Again, I think they, they've done that because they've had lessons learned after the situation with, you know, doing the 75 kilowatt Model S's uh, and having to go back and rebadge those when people did the software update. So again, number four is going to be the badging. All right, guys, uh, and then coming in at number five, we're going to talk about the fact that there's already a, a standard range uh, China version of the Model Y that's been in production for over a year uh, using the LFP battery. Now, Tesla's already gone ahead and brought that to the U.S. Uh, with the Model 3 version of the standard range, right, which is a fantastic vehicle and high, great reviews. Uh, using that LFP and it's very popular. Uh, so if Tesla's already done that with the Model 3, why haven't they done it with the Model Y? And, a, and it's a valid question, right? So it's not factual and the absence of evidence isn't evidence in itself, but it makes you wonder. So if they had the ability to do it with the Model 3, bringing in those Chinese batteries, they could have done it with the Model Y, but they decided, no, we're gonna put the latest and greatest battery tech in the Model Y coming from Texas with the 4680, right? So again, it's very interesting that they decided to do this. Uh, and again, it really just makes you wonder. Uh, once again, I'll say again, the, the absence of evidence isn't in itself evidence. Uh, so you kind of have to do a lot of speculation. Um, you can do some informed in speculation by looking at the history of Tesla and what they've done which is valid. You can, I mean, people are known to, to repeat history. Companies are known to repeat history. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if with this, they're doing the same thing. And again, that's kind of the speculation that I have. Uh, and that's not just me. It's a lot of people out there on Reddit, on Facebook, on other YouTube channels. Uh, it's very heavy speculation that this is just a software locked version of the Model Y, which makes perfect sense. And once, you know, the supply chain is up and running, they'll offer that. It might not be until 2023, might not be until 2024, but I do think that one day they will offer that ability to do a software unlock. All right, once again, this was just a quick top five of reasons uh, that there's speculation about the true size of the Model Y 4680 from Austin. Once again, the weight difference, 
doesn't really make sense. That's only a seven pound difference, according to the EPA. And I've confirmed that on the Catskill. Number two, uh, just the evidence from me charging the vehicle. Again, two superchargers that I've done in one uh, test to get the battery down. I've confirmed the usable battery size. Uh, number three was the history of Tesla offering software unlocks. They have a pretty interesting history of that. Number four was again the badging and the fact uh, and the decision on how they decided to, to badge this vehicle. And number five is going to be once again the fact that there's an existing standard range Model Y being built in China with LFE batteries and instead of bringing that to the U.S. Tesla has decided to use the latest and greatest technology on both the 4680 battery and the gigapresses. Once again, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any ideas for videos on the 4680 and tests that I can do, please leave those ideas below. I'd love to look at those and try to do some of those when I have time on the weekends. And if you like the video, hit the like button for me. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.